Longtime Clean My Space fans know I hate vacuuming. So you can imagine my utter disappointment when Chad told me this week we're filming a video all about cleaning your vacuum. Literally can't think of anything worse to do right now. But the truth is we are all sitting here holding in our sneezes and we are all like full of allergies because my vacuums are in such poor condition. So clearly it's time. It's an important job, I will admit that. So this week guys, I am going to show you how to clean your vacuum. Before we get into the sucky work of vacuum cleaning, just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already, to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel. There are several reasons why you wanna keep your vacuum clean. First of all, a full dirty vacuum is not going to suction well. Next, if you have dirty brushes, brushes that are clogged and full, they're not gonna be able to do their job. If you notice there's a horrible smell coming from your vacuum, that means that it's dirty. I mean, if you've ever smelled a dirty vacuum, there's no way you wanna keep that going for a long period of time. All of these result in a complete waste of your time. So why bother vacuuming with a dirty vacuum? Before we get started cleaning our vacuum cleaners, calm yourselves, there are a few things you need to remember. First of all, do it in a well-ventilated area, either in a big open room or outdoors. Remember, you're gonna have a lot of allergens flying around. Next, you wanna make sure your vacuum is unplugged. I know, standard stuff, but I gotta say it. And finally, you wanna make sure that you're consulting your manual. If you don't have one, you can find it online. They're all there. Reason is, I'm using Dyson's. By the way, this is not a sponsored video by Dyson, but my vacuums happen to be Dyson's. If yours isn't, you wanna use the manual so that you can compare my notes to the way your vacuum needs to be cleaned. There are a few tools that you'll need to do this. They're quite simple to come by. I'm sure you already have them at home. Of course, you're gonna need water and dish soap. I have a can of compressed air that's optional but helpful. Check out this totally dirty cleaning toothbrush, which is perfectly acceptable for cleaning my vacuum. Then I've got a microfiber cloth, a pair of scissors, a garbage bag, and some gloves to protect my hands. The first part of the vacuum that will clean is the vacuum filter, and there are a couple on this particular model. But whatever model you have, just check the manual, you'll know where to find it. The filter is a really important thing to keep clean and maintain because, of course, it's your major line of defense against all of those nasty dust and allergy particles. Most of them these days are washable, which is fantastic. If it's not washable, you can buy replacements so you can skip this step and just place a fresh one on. Either way, when you wash them, there are a couple things you wanna keep in mind. First, remove it. Give it a really good shake and tap so that we can get everything out. Keep it away from your face. Trust me on this one. Then run it under cool water for several minutes until it runs clear and lay it flat to dry. You wanna let this dry for at least 24 hours before putting it back in your vacuum. Next up, how to clean your vacuum canister. Remember, if you have a model that has a bag, this won't necessarily apply, but it is important to remember to change out your bag as soon as it gets full. If you have a bagless model like this one, you wanna make sure you're emptying it over a garbage bag in a well-ventilated space. But even once you do that, you'll probably notice, like you can see with mine, it's still quite dirty on the inside. So every now and then you wanna give it a cleaning. And to do that, follow your instruction manual, but you can simply separate the actual larger vacuum component from the canister. And with the canister, you can soak it in warm soapy water, use a little scrub brush, give it a good scrubbing, rinse it well, lay it flat to dry. You're gonna let it dry for at least 24 hours. I cannot stress that enough. It will totally ruin your vacuum if any moisture gets in there. And while well, they are apart, it's a really good opportunity for you to give the interior portion of your vacuum a cleaning. There are a couple ways you can do this. The first one is to use a cleaning toothbrush. Remember that dirty one? And you just wanna brush in a downward stroke to get rid of any debris. You can use a dry microfiber cloth to give it a good wipe down. And if there's anything that's particularly stuck inside your vacuum, you can use a few quick blasts of compressed air to get it out. Maintaining your beater bar or power head is also an important component of vacuum maintenance. Reason being, a lot of stuff gets jammed up in here. In fact, 
I can see my very own hair as well as pieces of our carpet in here right now. And as that clogs up your beater bar, these bristles can't actually dredge things out of the carpet, which is what they're designed to do. So you really want to stay on top of this job. Whether yours pops out like mine does or if it stays in, no problem, you're going to do the same thing. Get a pair of scissors and just start trimming along the plastic edge, you don't want to trim the actual bristles, to loosen up any of those hairs or other fibers that are stuck in here. Pull them out and then get yourself a cleaning toothbrush and you're literally going to brush the hairs inside your vacuum, like you'll brush all of these little beater bar hairs and then that way they're nice, clean and clear and ready for you to vacuum with them again. Vacuum attachments also need to be cleaned because you never know where they've been. So to clean these is quite easy. All you wanna do is fill a bucket or sink with hot water, add about a teaspoon of dish soap, drop them in, anything with hair stuck in it like this, you can use your cleaning toothbrush just to loosen everything up and get rid of it. Once your pieces are nice and clean, you just wanna lay them flat to dry. Leave them for at least 24 hours because as I've said before, and I will say again, don't put anything wet back on your vacuum. In terms of frequency of cleaning your vacuums, I don't know how frequently you vacuum, but in general, you wanna make sure you're cleaning your filter every one to three months. If you barely vacuum, you can probably stretch it a little further, but don't come running to me if you start sneezing uncontrollably. For cleaning the rest of your vacuum, you can probably do this once every six months or so, but remember, you can always consult your vacuum's Latin lover, Manuel, for more information. However, I think once every six months is probably quite reasonable. And remember, when you're done cleaning your vacuum, go get yourself an ice cream. You deserve it. I'm with you on this one. Cleaning your vacuum seems like a pretty unexciting, boring, uninteresting job. But the truth is, it'll pay off. You'll have a much better result when it comes to vacuuming, and you won't have to vacuum for as long, which is definitely a win in my books. Which brings me to this week's comment question. What kind of vacuum do you have? Do you like that vacuum or do you dislike that vacuum? People read our comments all the time, guys, especially people who are looking to buy vacuums. So if you have an opinion about vacuums, let us know and that will help other people make good purchase decisions and avoid making bad ones. And if you're curious about the vacuums that I use, I will put links to that in the description box as well. If you wanna see what I'm up to during the rest of the week, aside from vacuuming, let's not kid ourselves. I never vacuum. You can find me on Instagram and Snapchat. I am at Melissa Maker, the guy who vacuums, but always seems to forget to empty the canister. He is at the Chad Reynolds, and we are at Clean My Space. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video, and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Well, it's a special time of the week where I get to throw you to a couple of other videos I think you're going to love. The first one is a video appropriately titled Vacuuming Tips That Suck. And the second one is my vacuum tour. Yes, only Melissa Maker could give you an actual vacuum tour. Last week's video, we asked you all about what other foods you want help storing. We heard everything from cilantro to avocado, cold cuts, fish, coffee, and everything in between. So don't worry, we've got more food storage tips coming up for you. Remember, if you haven't done so already, visit our website, cleanmyspace.com, where you can sign up for our free newsletter, The Dirty Dish. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you next week.